asthma. Now, asthma is a very interesting condition. It's life-threatening, and there's a lot of people that suffer from various stages and various severities of this disease, from minor, light, to, like I say, life-threatening. What's interesting about asthma is that it's the body's normal response to something gone wild. So in our body, when it perceives there is an invader, so in this case it's our lungs, and in our lungs we get some dust or pollen or a chemical or something that our body perceives to be an invader, and it overreacts. So it's sending in the whole army instead of just one or two soldiers, so to speak. And what happens in our lungs is we have this reaction. Now in the body, a first response is always inflammation. So the first response in our body is inflammation. And inflammation brings liquid. It brings blood. The idea behind that in our body is that for healing, we need blood. We need the nutrients, the oxygen. We need all this that our blood would supply to that area. But in the case of our lungs, we get so much reaction. We get so much liquid, so much fluid because of this overreaction that we can't absorb oxygen any longer and when we can't absorb oxygen it becomes life-threatening. So just to give you a simple example it would be like having a house plant. You have a beautiful little house plant on your desk and you feel the, the uh, dirt and it's dry and instead of just giving it a little bit of water from a glass you actually get out the garden hose and give it a shock. And of course you would blow the plant Part and kill it. So it's kind of the same thing with asthma. We're having this dramatic response to maybe a minor, what normally would be a minor event. And so when people got looking at what was allowing this response to go on with such power, they discovered that in all the cells in the lungs, so the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the serum, the liquid, uh, the tissue itself, there was low levels of glutathione. Now glutathione is the body's master antioxidant and controller of inflammation. So with this low level of glutathione, instead of your body responding correctly and sending a little bit of inflammation and a little bit of help to an area, uh, which is what happens in a normal person who doesn't have asthma, our lung takes care of an invader and we don't even know that it went on but in these people there's no glutathione to monitor and shut down this response so it overreacts it over responds our lungs fill up with uh, with uh, liquid and we're in a life-threatening situation so raising glutathione levels raising glutathione levels is very important and we can't just raise glutathione in our lung. When we raise glutathione levels, we actually raise glutathione levels throughout our body. And in doing that, we initiate our body's ability to respond in a very appropriate way to these invaders rather than this overreaction causing all sorts of health challenges and uh, being very frightening. So when somebody with asthma begins to take glutathione, I want to make it very clear that glutathione is not a cure for asthma. When you take glutathione, once again, we're monitoring, we're modulating, we're, re we're reducing this over-response to something. And uh, so people with asthma will gradually get a new feeling of relief and a sense of comfort and security because they will not react in such a ferocious way as they have in the past. And some people have been even able to uh, eliminate inhalers and, and eliminate some of the steroid drugs and so on because their body is now doing what it should normally do which is handle this invader in a proper way. So glutathione and asthma very important it will help and uh, it will help you give you a piece of sense and comfort. This is Ellen Ogden from Glutathione Authority. Have an amazing day.